the roles involved in the making of Wind in Her Eyes were myself, the choreographer, the director, the director of photography, the two dancers, the composer and a costume designer, and also the producer. Throughout the process, I worked very closely with each of um, these different team members in order to create the piece. Um, I was kind of at the centre and would work with everyone, um, sometimes individually, and then sometimes we'd come together and work together more as a group. The music was obviously created for the original stage show, so when we came to creating the film, we already had that. But the process of making that was uh, very much a collaborative process, working together, me giving him um, some ideas of what I wanted, him sending me back some things for me to say yes or no to, and um, very much backwards and forwards as I was creating the choreography. His responsibility as a composer was to deliver the music on time, to um, create the atmosphere for the world as well. So really thinking about how to enhance the emotion and the emotional narrative of the work. With the director and the director of photography, I worked very much with them together, so the three of us working together to develop the ideas for the film. Um, their responsibility initially was to find the locations, so I spoke about the, um, the sort of idea for the, the locations that I wanted, these big open spaces, um, these very empty, quite desolate spaces. They went off and uh, recce to find the locations that we used. The director was responsible for deciding kind of um, the shape of the film, and I worked very much with him on that. And the director of photography was responsible for choosing the, the shots that you actually end up seeing. So deciding on the angles, um, how wide or close the camera was. But again, we worked very much um, together, the three of us, um, on all these decisions. In post-production, it was the, again, the director, and the director of photography, um, and myself working together to select the shots um, that we were gonna use and to edit them together, um, to create the shape of the film, to uh, try to use the, the edit to also enhance the uh, choreography. The responsibility of the costume designer was obviously to um, decide what the dancers were going to wear and make sure it was suitable for them, that they could move in it. Um, it's really important that uh, Aaron's trousers aren't too slippery so that Lisa doesn't slide off. Um, unfortunately, the trousers that we used were a little bit slippery, so um, we ended up using Coca-Cola on, on his trousers um, to make them sticky so she wouldn't slip. We're putting Coca-Cola on my feet to try and stop me slipping off our slippy trousers. Yeah. Yeah. The perks of the job, eh? <laughs> I worked with her uh, before we started filming um, to take the ideas from the original stage show but to adapt it and make it work in this outdoor location. So we changed the colour of um, Aaron's costume from blue as it is on stage to the more greeny tones that you see in the film because it worked better with the landscape. Uh, Lisa's costume stayed pretty much as it was but we changed the skirt to a slightly weightier material so it didn't get blown around in the wind so much. The role of the producer is a really, really important one and one um, that's a bit more behind the scenes, but nonetheless is uh, crucial to the creation of the film. Um, it was her responsibility to manage the budget, to make sure everyone in the team knew what they were doing, to help organise schedules as well. Basically uh, manage the, the whole project, so um, that's a really, really key and kind of central role as well. Uh, in order to create a production. The responsibilities of the dancers uh, it was to, uh, obviously initially, to create the choreography. Um, when we came to doing the film, obviously we'd, we had the choreography already, they knew, they knew that, so the responsibility was to get it back to the level of performance that they had been doing it on stage their responsibility when we were filming was to make sure that they were warm and was ready to film whenever we needed to. So they had to keep their, their bodies warm and ready, which was quite difficult when we were outdoors. 
um, but they did a very good job at it. It's easy to keep warm in a theatre, <laughs> so the conditions are harder. Their responsibility also is to convey the uh, intention of the piece, to try to convey this this love story, this narrative that I want to convey. So, um, which is quite hard when they're doing it scene by scene. When you're on stage and you're doing it as one continuous performance, they're, you're really uh, invested in it as a performer and you're going on that journey. But when you're doing stop-start filming, one scene and then moving and then another scene and moving, um, it's quite hard. So they had to really be able to pick up uh, the emotion and know it so well that they could uh, kind of jump in at like a later stage in the piece and deliver the uh, emotional narrative that needed to be delivered. Throughout the filming, I would work with them, kind of giving them feedback on, on how it was looking. Obviously, uh, technical feedback in terms of as aesthetically how it was looking, um, but also giving them feedback on how the, the narrative was being portrayed, uh, the emotion that we needed, um, helping encourage them. The director also uh, would feed in on, on that as well. In terms of skills I was looking for from the dancers, um, I always look for individuals and people that are going to really bring themselves to a production. Um, Aaron and Lisa are both incredible um, dancers. They're also really, really creative and I knew they were going to really invest in this production. Uh, I'm looking for people who want a challenge. I think that's really, really important, especially in this production. It was finding people who, who wanted to go on that journey, who wanted to push themselves, um, who had the belief that we could go the extra mile. And that was essential to the creation of this piece. So can you do longer? We've always, I we think secretly could. we've always we wanted actually, the challenge. We, we actually could, you know. Secretly, a year ago, before we stopped touring it, I think we both really wanted the challenge. At least 30 being minutes. Going. 30? <laughs> we could have done 30. I was also looking for dancers with obviously strong technical foundations, who are good with contact work, um, who, for, especially for Lisa's role, like someone with that extension, the flexibility, in order to uh, create um, that, the physicality that I was looking for, for Aaron, someone with strength, to deliver and be able to, be able to keep lifting for that length of time as well. In terms of my skills as a choreographer, um, I mean, I think on, when we're creating the film, it's so much more than just like creating steps. It's um, making sure that um, everyone knows where they're meant to be, um, knows what they're doing, uh, knows what I'm wanting from, the, uh, from that particular moment and what I'm trying to convey. So, it's really important that my communication is really clear with the whole team uh, responsible for the dancers and for their well-being. So constantly checking with them, making sure they're OK, uh, making sure that we don't work for too long and that they have their breaks throughout the, the creation and also the filming, um, planning the time, making sure that we're going to get it all in in time. And I would do that with the director as well throughout the filming. Also, kind of continuously uh, continuing to rehearse with the dancers, to direct the dancers, um, to give them feedback, to um, encourage them as well, to keep the spirits high, especially in the, the cold and damp weather. 